Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisha if you're new here, and in today's video, I am giving you a full face of subscription box newness. So again, if you're new here, my name is Nisha. I'm a mom of two. I'm obsessed with subscription boxes. I just added two more subscription boxes to the repertoire. One you would already have seen the Tribe Beauty Box in my last video. If you haven't seen it, I'll, list, I'll link it down below. I'll put it up in the cards. And two, I'll save for next month to let you guys know all about it because I probably won't be getting it until the November box. So like I said, I'm obsessed with sub subscription boxes. I love the fact that you pay one fee and you get to try so many different brands for such a high value and sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Also with a lot of these subscription boxes, they have add-ons, flash sales, so you always have the opportunity to purchase items at 70, 80, 90% off and I'm always down for a good bargain. So I'm always jumping on these sales, but recently I've had so many things that I haven't had the chance to use. So I decided to grab a bunch of them that I haven't used yet and give you almost a full face of subscription box makeup. So we can see, is it good? Is it trash? I don't know. This is the look. You tell me what you think we're in for. Might have some surprises. Okay, so I'm gonna start with brows as usual. This is not super new. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. Got this a while ago. I haven't really gotten any new brow products recently from any of my subscription boxes, so we're just gonna go with this one. Not bad, it's not my favorite. The color, the color's okay, it's universal, um, but the point is just so thick. Ugh, that's all right. I'll make it work. For eye primer, I'm gonna go with the pretty vulgar eyeshadow primer that I got in my BoxyCharm. I used it a couple of times and it's pretty decent. Okay, eyes are primed and for eyeshadow, we're gonna go in with the Illuminati X Isabel Bedoya palette. This is what it looks like. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm gonna stay more in the neutral range. I really wanna jump into this purple, but I've been doing so many purple looks lately. So, I won't. So I'm gonna stick with the neutral. I know you guys love the neutrals. Here, I'm gonna start with a Morphe blending brush that I got at Pop Up. And we're gonna go into Rose in the crease. Rai Rai, which is a lighter brown, and blend that out. Okay, so far not bad, but I mean, they're browns. How exciting is that? Uh, so then I'm gonna go into this darkest brown, which is called Trust, with this Fenty brush, 230 blending, that I got as an add-on. And we're gonna deepen up the outer feet. Okay, so that didn't really give me the depth that I was looking for. So we're gonna go in with the black, which is called Soul, on this Morphe bullet brush that I got in a set at Pop Up. All right, so the black deepened it up really nice. I went over it with the darker brown. I kind of blended it out so it's not too harsh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this color. I'm also looking at this color and also this glitter. Do I wanna do glitter? Maybe not today. Um, so I'm gonna do these two colors on the lids. As usual, I'm gonna go in with it dry. And if I need to, I'll wet it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the gold first. It's not picking up really well on the brush. It's kind of flaking everywhere. Might have to use my finger. Yeah, it's pretty flaky. Going with the finger. Much better, of course. 
It reminds me of the Kylie Jenner formula that's very, very flaky, but once you go in with your finger, it's very smooth and it goes on nicely. Okay, we're just gonna stick with the finger. I'm gonna go into June first. Put it right next to Rich. The burgundyish color is a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. And even with the finger, it's still pretty flaky. Yeah, the burgundy is very light. It's almost like if it's a topper shade. Okay, now I'm gonna take this LMR brush that I got in Pop-Up, the crease control brush, and I'm gonna go into the black. And I'm gonna make a shadow wing. Okay, so we're gonna stop here for now, and we're gonna get lashes. For lashes, I'm gonna use these MAC A79 lashes that I got in, I believe, my premium box last month. These are what they look like, shorter on the inside and very wispy on the outside. The band seems very stiff, so that's already concerning. The band is very stiff, so it's very hard for it to like mold around my eye. It's not one into cradle the eyelid if you will very stiff definitely not my favorite yeah these lashes are no like when i press them down on the outside the inside wants to lift up because it's not curving okay let's move over to the face for primer i'm going to finally try the farsali skin tune blur got this at pop up yes it works now i can do the drippy thing all over my face I like Instagrammers. No. <laughs> it's not for me. Feels very serum like. But we'll see what it will do for these pores I have here. So it does blur the skin a bit, so we'll see how, it doesn't feel tacky or anything. We'll see how the foundation sits on top. For foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Natasha Denona Transform Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation in 85WN Dark. The sponge, I'm gonna use the Morphe sponge. Also got this, what does it got as an add-on? No, one pop-up. So I'm gonna squeeze it out back in my hand. It is pretty runny. Looks like a good color. Do we have a winner this time? Put the sponge in. Oh, I think we have a winner. It's a tad warm, but not bad. Okay, so the foundation is pretty matte. But it still leaves a little bit of a skin like sheen to the skin. It is definitely too warm for me. So you can see I'm more of a neutral color. But again, I can work with it. And it's not too bad. I like the formula itself. It's like a medium coverage. I mean, so far my pores look decent. They don't look like, like they disappeared or nothing. But they look fine. For concealer, I'm also going to go with the Natasha Denona Transfix, Transfix Matte Concealer in... 13NW It has one of those matte soft touch uh, caps and of course my grubby little hands already got it dirty It's pretty light For contour, this is not new. I got this back in pop-up a while ago. It's the Pure Cameo Contour uh, Dual Ended Foundation Stick in Dark. I'm gonna use this as my contour. It's pretty dark, so I'm just not, I'm not gonna go too crazy. Okay, this is not one of those found, uh, 
concealers to play with it dries down and it dries down quick and it looks almost budge proof is it waterproof anyway so this is the concealer blended out it's already nice color it's nice and bright there's a tiny bit of tackiness to it but it's pretty much a movable it feels like it's a movable so to set I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape setting powder that I got in my last Ipsy bag Ipsy box so it's the translucent color and I'm gonna set it with a sponge I thought that translucent powder would have been too light but it doesn't really give up a lot of color it's very finely milled and soaks into the skin really nice I don't have a pressed powder, so I'm just going to use this Flower Beauty one that I used the other day. That is my I messed up the setting powder. I don't bake, really. I have oily skin, but baking is just not my thing. For bronzer, I don't have anything new per se, but I do have this Kenyan Ontiveros palette that I got in an add-on or pop-up. And I haven't used this bronzer, so, and this one's a little bit of a shimmery bronzer. So I'm going to use that bronzer. For bronzer, I'm going to use this uh, Sephora Pro brush that I got in Marshalls. That is a nice color. Yes, we like that. Now I guess I should have used this before I powdered, but I want to use the Kosas Color and Light Cream in 8th Muse. I'm going to try to use a sponge to apply it. So first, I'm going to go with the blush and dab it on. And I'm going to blend it out. It's a really pretty color. It seems to have, you know, dried down. It's not tacky or anything. So that's good. And then now we find the clean part of the sponge and I'm going to go into the highlight. That is beautiful. I'm usually not a cream highlight type of girl. Cause again, I have oily skin so Last thing I think about is putting creams on, but that's beautiful. Nice glowy cheek. I'm gonna try that again, but definitely try it on unset skin. It's not looking like anything lifted or shifted around. It's not looking crazy. It's just looking like nice and glowy, which I don't mind. I think I'm gonna set it a little bit with this pink blush. Just a little bit. Having a cream blush and then going over it with a powder blush helps to intensify your blush that much more. One, and two, my blush fades. The first thing to go. So, doing something like this will help it stick around for all day wear. And for a highlight, I got this Deuce Freematic palette in my Ipsy bag. So it has, I got this as an add-on. It has eight shadows and then one highlighter. I'm gonna use a highlighter. A very intense highlighter. I'm going with a light hand. And it's pretty glittery. If you're hearing talking in the background, it's election night. My husband is watching the results as they come in. Who else is stressed out? Okay, and then I'm gonna set with the Seattle London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Spray. Got this a while back, this one's not new. Okay, and now to finish up the eyes, first thing I'm gonna go in with, with the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Dub. It's a nice, tiny little brush. Okay, the color's actually on the light side, but it's giving my eyebrows some well-needed highlight. Okay, now back to the palette. First thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the black and smoke out the lower lash line on the outer corner. 
Then I'm gonna blend that out using these two and the empty brush. This rose and the dark brown rose and trust. And I'm gonna use 1996 for the inner corner. And then Columbiana, actually, this white as the brow bone highlight. For mascara, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I don't know if there's different colors. I believe this is black. Yes, it's black. This lash still is incorporating. And for inner rim liner, I'm going to use the Araceli Ojos Perfectos Gel Liner in Cinnamon. This is the shimmery one. For the lips, I'm going to use the other one. It's really an eyeliner, but I'm going to use it as a lip liner. The Ojos Perfectos Gel Liner in Chocolate. And I'm going to go in with the Kaja... Kaja Air Heart Lipstick in Sprung. Looks like a little heart, so cute. Again, okay, over top I'm gonna to put a little bit of this Violet Voss Gloss in Romanical. Beautiful pink glittery color. Just a little bit for a little extra zhuzh. All right, I think that's it, I think that's everything. Yes, that's everything that I wanted to try. I'll be right back. Okay guys, and here is the finished look. A nice, neutral, smoky look. I know you guys are here for it. I am. So I'm gonna go over like the new, new stuff. Like a lot of this, these things I've used before and they were repurchases. So I just wanna talk about the things that are brand new to me. First I'm gonna start with the palette. Uh, the palette is nice. Um, the color story is okay. The entire bottom ha half is a nice neutral palette with a pop of blue. The pastels throw me off a little bit, but I know I still want to dig into this purple. I'll probably do a look on Instagram. Um, the shadow formula is not my favorite. It's okay. It's not horrible, but it's not my favorite. The lid colors are just like the caddy colors, very, very flaky. You have to use your finger. I didn't try with a wet brush, so I don't know how to work with a wet brush. The burgundy-ish one that I put in the middle is very, very sheer. It's more like a topper. When I went in with the darker brown to blend it in on the outer corner, I basically dusted the whole thing away and I had to go back in and put it back on. So that was not fun. Um, all in all, it's an okay palette not the best I don't think this is worth no 40 I think it's like $48 it's not worth $48 the Fenty brushes I got these for $3 each these are really nice brushes pretty light I thought they would have been heavier more uh, for being 20 something dollar brushes I thought they would have been more I don't know hefty um, but you know decent brushes they were on the smaller side which I like nice and soft and you know, it pretty much, it, it got the work done. I have no complaints about the brushes. The Deuce palette, this free Matic palette, the highlighter, I use the highlighter. It's a really nice highlighter. I feel like it's a pretty universal champagne color that will work really well on lots of skin tones. Nice, nice, bright, light. I know it's getting a little bit of help from the cream, but it is a pretty nice, bright highlighter. Pretty decent formula. Again, not the best but it's decent the skin tone blur i actually kind of like this it really did blur up my skin and i think even if, without wearing makeup if i feel like there's a deal that i'm a little bit too oily i can put this on and it kind of toned the oiliness down and gave me more of a, a more matte look without feeling matte and tight so i enjoyed using this i'm definitely going to keep using this and see if with other foundations i was going to really look to smooth out the pores the pores look okay now, but there's so many other things going on, I can't fault it. When I put it on initially, it looked really nice. These lashes are no. Hot no, no. The band is very thick, way too stiff. It doesn't even curl up where you can see that I'm wearing lashes. I mean, you can see I have a thicker lash line, but you can't really see that I'm wearing lashes. Yes, I could probably curl them 
but the band is so stiff that it doesn't want to curve and kind of conform to my eyelid so it was like see so I stick this part down this part popped up I stick this part down this part popped up I had to like hold this down and it was it was too much it's way too stiff and doesn't have enough curl it's pretty straight not a fan the foundation um, I already got the packaging dirty it's a white soft touch packaging you all know me and my grubby little hands it the color is a little bit too warm for me it still worked out it oxidized a little bit but it still worked out you know once you put everything else on top and then you wear something up to your neck you can't really tell but for a thin formula it did give pretty good coverage I thought it would have been like really light coverage um, but it did give pretty good coverage the sponge soaked up most of the product I had to go in with a couple more pumps to cover my entire face it does get soaked up easily and you might end up using a lot more unless you use a brush which I'm not a fan of a brush maybe I'll try with a brush who knows but the formula itself and the way it looked on the skin I really liked it it was that semi matte like it was a semi matte well it says matte foundation but I felt like it was matte like it dried down matte but it still had like a skin like sheen to it which is one of my favorite types of formulas when it comes to matte foundations so i really enjoyed this we'll try this out again maybe when i'm going outside going out somewhere so i can see how it wears but so far first impression i like it the the concealer the trans transfix matte concealer already messed up the cap it's dirty this is a little bit on the bright side for me but this is not to be played with Normally, I put on my concealer, I blend up my contour, and then I come back to blend out the concealer. No. You need to blend this out right away. And for being a formula on the thinner side, it has really, really good coverage. I was impressed by that. So it looked really nice. It spread nicely under the eye. Don't see any crazy creasing. Don't see any crazy creasing. Uh, definitely want to try this again and blend it out a little bit faster. Cause I had a little bit of a hard time because I took too long to blend it out but so far I really like this concealer I like the formula it's almost like a little bit more hydrating version of shape tape gave me the shape tape look without the shape tape extreme madness so I like this so far speaking of shape tape the shape tape powder the translucent powder I really really like this it is very finely milled very lightweight soaks into the skin gives a nice matte finish without I thought when I saw this very light color that it would be like light and give me a flashback no it's very very light dusts away you don't there's not much that dust away after it soaks into the skin and the little mesh in the middle I thought it would be annoying but once you kind of like pushed push the sponge down into it it really picks up a decent amount of powder and you're able to use it so so far I actually really like this the Kosas High Intensity Color and Light Cream in 8th Muse. This cream blush and highlighter. I absolutely love this. This looked so beautiful on the skin. Still giving me a nice glowy finish even though I set it with powders. But before I even put it on and I just like put it, you know, just on my skin. I love, loved how it looked. And... You know, I was thinking that with the cream on top of the powders I had already gone down, it would like sweep everything away. But we didn't have that problem. We're still seeing the blush nice and pigmented. So I think this is really good to put down as a base and then to set it over top with the powder blush. Helps it to stick around a little bit longer because my blush fades quickly. But I really did enjoy this so far. Love this. The Milk Kushan fiber brow gel now this uh, color dub is a little bit too light for me so it did lighten my brow it's kind of gave me like a highlight effect which is not horrible because you don't really see it now that it dried down but it does feel like it holds the brows really nice without being crunchy i know this is a very very hyped up item so i mean it's a decent brow gel no complaints even though it's a little bit light you don't really see it so no complaints. I like this. The mascara. I can't really do much of a review on mascaras because I'm, I wear falsies all the time. I'm probably going to have to try this out when I'm not wearing the falsies to really see how this looks on my lashes. I know this is another item that people rave about. This packaging is so hefty. 
Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna try this again without any lashes to see how it really looks on my lashes to see if it makes a difference. The brush is on the bigger side, so it really doesn't fit nicely underneath my eyes, so I can see how it works with my four lashes under there. So, again, another time, I'll try it out just on my lashes and see how this looks. The Araceli pencil. I have the shimmery one in my eye line. Now, you can't really see much because it's just really a bronzy color, but it does give a nice bronze, brightened kind of uh, under inner eye look it went on nice creamy smooth no problem the chocolate I use it as a lip liner is a perfect lip liner for me perfect color went on nice and smooth no issues so far really love these pencils the Kaja Earhart uh, lipstick nice color nice formula went on nice and smooth very moisturizing a plus and the Violet Gloss Lip Gloss, I just put a little bit on in the middle. A lip gloss is a lip gloss. This is nice, shimmery, gives me the juicy look that I'm always looking for. So, really like the gloss as well. Okay, so I think those are all the items, all the new items that I've picked up recently in BoxyCharm or Ipsy. Wanted to try them out finally, see how much I like them, some good things, and of course, there's always a dud. So, you let me know. Out of all these products, have you tried any of them? Do you like them? Am I crazy? Am I making sense? What do you think? You let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget we're on the tail end of our October giveaway. I know it's late, one of the boxes cake just came in. You still have one more chance to enter the giveaway. All the instructions are listed down below and I will be announcing the giveaway winner in my next video. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, comment, let me know which one of these products you think is interesting, and thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end, if you made it to the end, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.